In this video, we are going to discuss about assimilation and negation children. Before that, as always, we will discuss about previous video questions. I asked two questions. The first question, we observe water from mouth till large intestine. Where we observe maximum amount of water? Yes, it is large intestine, colon, we observe maximum amount of water. And second question I asked, which mineral is not at all observed through simple diffusion? Yes, it is sodium. We are not observing through simple diffusion. Either we observe facilitated diffusion or through active transport children. Okay. So, now we will see what is assimilation. So, now the food is observed. In the form of microbiomolecules, amino acids, glucose, all these. Now, these micromolecules are getting converted into macromolecule and converted into cellular constituents is what we call it as assimilation. Of course, what is the principal organ of assimilation? Yes, liver is the principal organ for assimilation. So, from villi, if you remember, we have capillary. It goes via hepatic portal vein. Okay. So, through that, it reaches the liver. In liver, the glucose are converted into glycogen and reserved. Okay. And fats are also reserved. And then you are uh, reserving the amino acids. So what is the purpose? Later on if you need energy, of course glucose will help us in the form of energy. Glucose will give us energy. What is the purpose of amino acid? Amino acid joins together and form protein, helps to build up a cellular components a cell whatever it is and then the fat components also gives us more energy okay so this is the nutrients uh, we are getting and we are reserving in assimilation of course so i told you glucose in liver uh, converted into glycogen and reserve amino acids in liver fats where we reserve children does it in the membrane or in the tissue will you post your answers in the comment box as always children fine now let us see what is egation egation is otherwise called defecation removal of waste so what are those waste it may be the food waste what and all we didn't digest undigested waste material or it may be the bacteria or it may be the cellular debris so all these are removed through defecation i hope you remember children we have a rectum to reserve and before that colon to push all these uh, unwanted material and stored in the rectum for 48 hours and there are splinters internal anal spinter and external anal spinter to agate out the fecal material of course internal is involuntary external is voluntary for adult if you take children both are involuntary only later on gradually by the habitat uh, they will be bringing it to the voluntary condition external spinter okay now can you tell me children we are Sending the stimuli to the brain once the rectum is filled. From where the information will go? Either it is from colon or rectum or from anus. Will you post your answer in the comment box children? I hope you understood uh, about assimilation and defecation in this video. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Kindly subscribe and share and support me.